Hello everyone, Neil from BookBolt here. Today in this video I'm going to go over how to use the designer and how to get the interior pages for your no content books and how easy this entire process is. So the first thing you want to do is head over to bookbolt.io which is right here and if you don't have an account go ahead and sign up. There is a three day free trial. But if you do, go ahead and log in. All right, as you can see, I am logged in, so I'm at the back end of the software here. Now, if you wanna to get to the designer, it's very easy. You go up to the right-hand corner, click on your name, and then click on the BookBolt designer, which will bring you to the login, and you can just go ahead and log in. All right, so once you're logged in to the BookBolt designer, before you can actually sit down and start creating your covers, you actually have to choose a template. So there's two drop-down menus here. What this is going to do, you're going to be able to pick the size of the cover that you want to create. Now, all of these covers are different sizes that you can upload to KDP. For this example, we'll just pick five by eight and then give it a page count. I typically go, you know, 100 to say three or 400. But for this example, we'll just use 100. When you pick a page count for your books, this is going to determine how big of a spine your book has. So if you pick 100 here, but when you're uploading to KDP, if this is off, it will not actually go through and it will throw errors. So this is very important that this number right here is going to line up with the number that you use when you go to the interior wizard and pick the interior. You have to pick the same pages so that everything matches up. So once you've picked the template, chosen a template here, just hit submit and it will make your cover. As you see, I already have some uh, images in here. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. So this is what the cover is going to look like when you first load it up. This is going to be your front cover on the right, spine in the middle, and your back cover. Now you will notice there is some uh, coloration on the side here. This is typically for the bleed area when a book prints. So you don't want any of your text or design that might be cut off in this bleed area right here. So just keep that in mind. So going through the product design, I'm just going to run through all the different features real quick. The first one you have is product. Now these product colors, you can change this. This isn't going to change the background, so just keep that in mind. I usually keep this white just so I can see everything. If you want to do a different template, simply click change product and it will bring you back to the choose template. Next we have templates. There's nothing in here right now. Clip art, nothing in here as well. We have text, so you can add different text here. We have all of these fonts. You can load a thousand more fonts, or as you can see, you can upload your own fonts. Now, if you do upload your own fonts, they must be in these formats right here, TTF, WOFF, and WOFF2. But if you do pick a font and you put it in here, you can drag it around as seen. Now, if you want to edit this font, this Anton font, you can either double click it, but if not, if it's just on there and you're wondering, hey, how do I edit this, select the layer, and then you can go up to the top menu here, which you can do bold, italic, underline. But what you're really looking for is this T with a little line next to it. This is edit text and click here. And you can just say, you know, this is my book, something like that. You can play with the font size here, the letter spacing. I typically leave that alone. Now, if you are looking to change the color, you want to use the top menu again, but this time go all the way to the right and click on the paint bucket. There are some pre-made uh, colors here. You can play with the transparency, the stroke width, and the stroke color. The stroke color and the width are going to be the, the color on the outside of the text. But if you want to change the actual color and get a specific color, you can enter the hex code in here or simply click this, which will bring up the color picker, which you can then you know pick whatever color you want and then just save the color. And those are the colors you can basically pick any color under the sun if you have the hex code, just throw it in here and it will change the color of the actual text. Now next we have images over here. As you can see, I have uploaded an image. There's a resource tab where you can pick from Pixabay or Open Clip Art. Let's just throw this guy on there for, uh, for example's sake. Okay, so there we go. We have, this is my book. This is. Now typically when you're designing a book cover, it's going to be the actual title of your book, your actual artwork in here. This is just for example purposes. Now if you have artwork on your computer and you want to upload it, come to the images tab, click on upload and you will just drag and drop into this area right here. Now next we have the shapes menu. 
the shapes menu is important because this is how we are going to add a background color to our book. Let me demonstrate here. So first, in order to add a background color to your book, which you do need in order for it to pass review under KDP rules, simply add a shape. I'm just gonna add this shape right here and drag it over. You wanna make sure it covers the whole thing, okay? And next, we want a background color. Simply come up to the top menu again, click this, and you can pick whatever color you want for your background. Now, I'm just gonna use this blue for the time being. Now remember we had we had some text and we had an image which would be our artwork. We need to make sure that comes to the front. So all you have to do is from shapes, the next menu is drawing. You, you, you can draw on here as you can see. But what we want to go do is go to layers and then we have all of these layers. We want to bring, first of all I'm going to delete that drawing by simply clicking the X on that layer. But here's the rectangle that we made and we want to make sure you just click these and drag them to the top of the rectangle so they're on the top. I'm actually going to go back to this rectangle and make it so we can see what we're doing. Okay. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to go back to shapes, click this, drag that so it covers everything, go back to layers and then drag them to the top. So then you can see everything. You can add some effects that we've added in here, as well as if you want to add a mask to say your text, you wanna, if you want to change the, the mask layer. So what a mask layer is going to do is it's basically going to take an image and then cut it out in the shape of the text, if that's what you want to do. But let's just say that we are happy with this design and we wanna download it. All you have to do, go to the very top bar here where it says file, right next to it, click download. It will prepare, this can take a few minutes, but we will wait for that to come back. And then as you see, your design is ready. Simply click on download. And here is the PDF. Now, of course, we need to download this computer. At the right hand corner here, you'll click on download. It will download it to your computer, which you can then upload to KDP. Now this is just the cover designer. We still need an interior for our no content book. In order to do that, head back over to BookBolt, and we are going to just go back to the main domain. BookBolt.io. We'll let that load. Now, when this loads up, you want to go to resources, and right on resources, we're gonna click interior wizard. It's gonna bring back this page. Currently, we support four different types of interiors. I would suggest not doing blank for the time being, probably just journal, college ruled, and wide ruled. But in order to get to the actual interior wizard where you want to download your interior, simply click on the button and it's going to bring up the template generator. Now the template generator, you have a few drop down menus here. This is going to be where you pick the interior. So let's just go with say college ruled. Okay. Five by eight is exactly what we designed inside the designer. Okay. So that's very important. Five by eight, we did a hundred pages. So five by eight, we're going to pick the same hundred pages and you need to click bleed here. So the bleed is basically going to tell KDP that you want it to bleed off to the edges. So if anything on the edges gets cut off in on the interior, it's going to be okay. So select bleed and click download. And as you see right here, here are the pages, which you would then again, download to your computer and upload them to KDP. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you do need to select bleed under the print options inside of KDP. This is a bleed template. If you select bleed inside of KDP, everything's going to line up and everything will pass review. So that is probably all for today's video. We went over pretty much all the easy to use features in the BookBolt Designer, as well as how to grab the interior templates to upload. So this process, once you get going, you upload your merch artwork, create the covers, come over here to the interior wizard, get the interiors, and upload them. The process should take no longer than say 10 to 12 minutes. So that's gonna be all for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them below, like this video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.